All right, guys, welcome. Ryan Holger with TEC here. Uh, this is our video series on infinity and evolution controls. We just installed an evolution control, fresh and new out of the box. All right, so we got that on the wall. We got it all wired up. We're gonna go ahead and turn power on now and begin the startup process. All right, we just turned power on. It says, please wait. So we will patiently wait, get a little logo, and now it's searching for indoor unit. So it's gonna start talking to, in this case, a fan coil unit. It could be a furnace as well. And it's gonna look for that unit on the network and find its model and serial number and bring that into the thermostat itself. All right, so now it's found the indoor unit. Now it's gonna search for the outdoor unit. In our case, the outdoor unit happens to be a variable speed five stage uh, condensing unit. It could also be a heat pump, it could be a two stage version, but some version of a communicating infinity or evolution unit. All right, so now in this case, it's act asking us to select electric heater size because we have a fan coil unit. Obviously, if you have a furnace, it's gonna skip this particular screen. We do not have an electric heater on this unit, so we will pick none, which is already selected by default, and we'll hit select. Now it's a search for some different accessories that we may have on the system. We don't have other accessories on this particular system, so it's not going to find a zoning board or an ERV or any of those type of communicating devices. All right, so we're still searching for a zoning system to see if it finds a zoning panel. In our case today, it will not. But if it did, it would set up the zoning panel for us. So in this case, no zones found, which is what we'd expect. So we have a single zone system. This thermostat is gonna be the only controller we have on this system. So we'll press next. It's asking us what type of filtration device we installed on our system. We have three basic choices. We have a regular air filter, if you will. We have an electronic air cleaner, or we have an air purifier. In our case, we have a standard air filter. So we'll leave it selected on that and hit select. It's asking us if we have a humidifier installed. We do not, so in our case, we'll say no. However, today, I'm actually gonna lie to it and say that we do, because I am gonna put a humidifier in here in a little bit. UV lights, we do not have UV lights on this system, so we'll say no. And it gives us a little summary of all the equipment that we have. In this case, it's a fan coil, there's the model number, we have a multi-stage, five-stage outdoor unit, the model number, no zoning, air filter, and a humidifier in our case. So I will hit next. All right, so this is our airflow verification test. It's gonna run the furnace or the fan coil at various capacities to test its airflow. As you may know, this is a variable speed piece of equipment as all Evolution and Infinity equipment are. So as it's testing this equipment, it's gonna run it at different speeds and it has the ability to track the RPM, the CFM, and the static pressure of this motor. And then it's gonna give us a report back telling us what that data is. All right, our airflow verification test is complete. We get a small report telling us what's going on with our system. Our full system CFM is 700 in this case. Our static pressure, pressure is just 0.1 inches. This is obviously a very small system we have in the lab, so it's much lower than you might normally see. And our blower RPM was 609. Our minimum CFM will be 328. So you get a nice little report on some of the data that you'll see. All right, our basic installation is now complete. Our controller is now talking to our variable speed fan coil. It's talking to our five stage unit outside, and we can operate in a normal situation now. However, there's lots more stuff to configure in this controller, and we're going to go through that in the future video series. But for now, thanks for watching us today. Remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next week.